Now you guys might have seen the video we did recently where we disassembled an 8K RED camera with the intention of water cooling it, and um, well, we do intend to do that eventually, but uh, you know, baby steps, right? So the first step is making any water block, and that is exactly what we have in store for you guys today. The first ever Linus Media Group water block. Well, except those ones they made in Scrapyard Wars. Mac Weldon wants you to be more comfortable. So if you don't love your first pair of underwear, you can keep it and get a full refund with their try on guarantee. Use code TECHTIPS20 to get 20% off at the link below. So we have, we, have no, we have no script and no structure for this whatsoever then. Is that, do I understand this correctly? Yes. Okay. So step one, uh, drawing inspiration. You wanna come over here, David? We actually did a video a little while ago where we bought a bunch of cheap water blocks off like AliExpress. And um, some of them actually are, were so simple that we looked at them and went, well, we could do that with like, you know, half an hour in SolidWorks and then, you know, a couple hours of CNC time. And that's exactly what we did. Pretty much, yeah. So this right here is even simpler than what we did. It's kind of smart how they did it. And like, uh, it's really smart how cheap it is to make this. So if we look, this is just acrylic. And it would just be like six holes, you're done. So six holes and then you tap two uh, G1 quarter threads and bippity boppity finished, okay? And then they don't even bother with doing anything besides holes in the copper because machining copper is a huge pain in the butt. So they just have another piece of acrylic that's the right size for this O-ring and don't even bother with anything on the inside either. Wow. This is like actually less than a dollar worth of materials. Pretty much, yeah. And so we kind of took some inspiration from that, but it's it's too like easy even for us. like Because we're going to need to figure out how to properly machine copper to do some of the stuff we're doing later. Right. <clears throat> So what have we done for, okay, so this is the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, this is like pretty good. Where would you say that lands? So by contrast, this is a much more advanced design. So starting with the base, it requires machining on both the top and bottom. So you can see they've countersunk the holes for these screws right here so that you're not gonna, even on a, a large dyed CPU, you're not going to just have like screw raising the block away from it so it can't transfer heat. And then it's actually got also much, much finer work than we see on our very, very basic just piece of copper here with these little fine fins that kind of guide the fluid as it goes across where the CPU die would be underneath and then away. Furthermore, it's got a metal mid plate. So this is to add rigidity and allow for mounting flexibility across various sockets. And then it's got, again, double-sided machining work on the top here that not only just sort of allows it to be attached to the base, but actually has guides for the fluid flow to help make it more efficient. We're not really aspiring to this at this point, are we? No, we're kind of getting half the way there. So they do have the O-ring groove and those are actually really hard to machine because you need super high tolerances. You mean in the groove? Low tolerances. Yes, you need super low tolerances within this groove. Because otherwise, I mean, to put some perspective on how important that is, if your O ring doesn't fit correctly, you leak water <laughs> on your, you know, thousand dollar computer or thirty thousand dollar camera, as it were. We aren't going to be able to get these kind of fins, unfortunately. Could we have done any kind of fins? We could have potentially got like, so the bit that we used, this is our actual block here. It was an eighth of an inch and that's getting it in, like this groove right here is just a bit over an eighth of an inch. Got it. So that's kind of like, we could have like two fins. We do have finer bits, but running them in copper, it isn't really working at the moment. <laughs> So I don't know, I'm actually really stoked that we can just simply machine copper. I wasn't expecting us to get this far. I was thinking that we would start this 
and the bit would get like halfway in and then gum up and explode. Like we already have three more in the mail because I thought that we were just going to ruin a bunch. So it might be surprising, but this is a huge success for us. <laughs> okay, a flat piece of <laughs> copper with a no ring in it. Do, do you want a medal? Like, is it, here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so have you tried this yet? No. So we have a couple more things that we need to do. We need to tap the holes in here. Okay. And in here so that the fittings go in and the bolt can go down and secure the whole thing together. Okay. And then we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so uh, pitter patter, let's get at her then. Yeah. Which one do you want to go at? I want to do the plexi first because that seems a lot easier to replace if I uh, bung it up. This is really ugly acrylic. That's just the machining marks there. We could... Why did we machine the top of it? To make sure that it's nice and flat. When you get a piece of acrylic, you don't necessarily know. So we can okay. get some sandpaper and make it a bit better. Okay, but we aren't, are we? Well, we are if it leaves. <laughs> so here we go, friends. Oh, crap. I'm not putting enough pressure. It's kind of hard. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh. I am shredding this. Okay, I, need more, I just needed more pressure. And the great news is that this is just the first one. Yeah. Oh, we're getting pretty close. Yeah. Actually, really close. It's, we were gonna go into the table if we went another half turn. How straight did we go? Actually, not bad. <laughs> oh, why are you doing that? So, again. Yeah, number two. Tom Petty was wrong. <laughs> the starting is the hardest part. Can, can I take this off yeah, now? Yeah, take it off. Oh yeah, see this side's much worse. But we can probably work with that, right? Yeah, should be fine. Just flip it over. Um, we need some fluid. Is this even coming straight? Really? Definitely not trying to, ow, I just poked myself in the hand. Why don't you just ask for better tools instead of just ma making me use crappy ones? <laughs> I don't think you need that. Okay, let's put it on the table. All right. Okay, like every, every half turn or so, you should go back and break the chip. That's probably good. All right, times three more. Yep. That was a good idea, lubing it. I take back what I said before. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a threaded hole and everything up in this biz. Like trying to make this with an angle grinder would have been a much more interesting video. <laughs> <laughs> or the sawzall. <laughs> Wasn't that like your entire like second day of work? Like Pretty sawing much, through yeah. that heat sink? <laughs> Everyone got so annoyed, it was so loud. <laughs> Right he beside the editing deck. Right outside the editing deck. <laughs> so now we have to do what's kind of the make or break for this. So we've got this O-ring here. It's um eighth inch. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like not a continuous piece. No. In fact, didn't Jake show both of us a site where you can just order any O-ring you want at any size you want? Why the hell did we do this? Because for a lot of the custom stuff that we're going to have to do later for like the reds and crap, we're going to have to be able to make our own O-rings. This is like way smaller than the groove. That is not a tight fit. Oh, it's it's not supposed to be a tight fit. Just let's just think about this one for a second. Yeah, 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 you mush it so, down a bit, but yeah, not that smush. much. Oh, this is the actual specification. We have the Parker O-ring handbook. You go in there and you're like <laughs> Parker O-ring. Yes, handbook. it's like the Bible for like O-ring engineers and stuff. Like, all boom. right, all right, all right, all right. So what are we gonna do? Like, like at the you know the fair where they take the special glue and they stick the two pieces of rope together and they're like, oh look, one piece of rope. It's cyanoacrylate. It's amazing. Yep. Really? Yep. <laughs> I'm so unhappy right now. <laughs> that's really what we're using. Oh my god, that's actually what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> what? It, really? It's cyanoacrylate. I hate you. <laughs> all right, here's your mark, smart guy. Please don't slice my hand. Is this really a recommended way to do this? You know what, let's just see what happens. Okay. You ever gotten this stuff on your hands before? Yes, I have. Please don't. Yeah, it's a really bad time. Yeah, I know, please don't. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Less is more. Well, less is less, but less is good, is what I was trying to say. Oh wow, <laughs> it's not that close. It's pretty bad. Well, in fairness to me, I think the whole thing is a little short anyway, so we might as well just put it in there and see what happens. Oh, actually, no, it's probably fine. 
Okay, so I can just put it together no, now? No, 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 no. We need some petroleum dripping. Whatever. This, this makes another appearance. We need to get rid of this garbage. This is, is the so worst bad. petroleum jelly I've ever encountered. You're responsible for this. Oh, we gotta grease up our O-ring. Yeah. Okay, it's disgusting. It's like <laughs> chunky. I like my petroleum jelly like I like my peanut butter. Smooth. Okay, so that's it. Yep. Um, uh, which, uh, which screws are we using? Those ones? Yep. Oh, it's the wrong way. Oh, it matters? No, no, I know. I did that on purpose. But there's no way the O-rings for the fittings are going to seal on the other side when I took those chunks oh, out. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're just gambling here. I mean, theoretically, there's nothing, like, really climactic that's happening right now. Please catch. We're good. Okay. Hit me with another one. Two. So that's it. Moment of truth? Yeah. Find out if it leaks. Um, dot in the center and then little dots on either corner. All right, so yeah, no, why would we Why would we drain the loop? All we have to do, we're gonna open up a side here and we're above the water level in the reservoir. So what should happen is we should start to draw in air. Is this open enough? Is it's that open? totally open. So as long as we don't lift this up too high, see how the water level rises? There we go then we can have the tops of our tubes drained. This is it, moment of truth. Ah! That's only a bit. Wait, did we even thread this correctly? Well, maybe we have to go from the other side. We did tap it down from the other side. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> All right, let's put it on the other way. We'll do it the way you want. This did actually come together pretty smoothly. We're not done yet. <laughs> we can't be too happy at this moment. Oh, this gives us a better look at the O-ring, actually. So you can see where we mushed it together there. That might not leak. So you were right. The direction you thread it definitely matters. Either that or we didn't go through enough. So that goes on there. Oh. Yeah, that does, that's not, that's not for right. that. Yeah. We could just zip tie it. We could just not. No, 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 no. This is <laughs> a very well-worn. Okay, you know what? Yes, we can just not. Just a sec. Um, a scissors. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, why would we why would we drain the loop? Okay, this one goes on. We can use this one. Well, yeah, that's also a good plan. Yeah, that that was the problem with these fittings. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to move this down here and uh, it's going to fill with water. You can actually see some water in it. Oh no, it's completely full of water now. Okay, and then we can seal up the top of our reservoir here. Where'd that fitting go? I feel so bad for the people out there that like know what they're doing. This must be like watching monkeys. Like just when I hit this button, we're gonna find out if it leaks or not. Seems to be fine. Now it could take a while for us to find out if it's gonna leak, but yes, it actually does seem to be fine. How about that? Just can't stop looking at it. I'm just like so sure it's gonna leak. Why? Well, you saw that O-ring. Yes. Look at it right now. Do you not trust Parker? I mean, is this like is this like restaurants? Like working at a restaurant where as soon as you do that, you'd never eat the food. Like as soon as you like make anything, you'd just like never like you'd just never drive in a car again. Like knowing what the tolerances are. Like, well, cars are pretty good. It's airplanes that really scare me. Their safety factor is like under 10%. Like normally on a car you do at least 50 and they're just like, nope, any extra weight's a bad thing. So now what, we just give her? All right, so well, let's, let's per se what we need to well, be. Well, yeah, but so. it's gonna take a while before we're gonna know. So we should probably give her. Okay, sure. All right, we're giving her, boom. All right, so. Here comes the heat. Max of 82 degrees to beat the AliExpress. And that's this one that we uh, think is even more cheaply constructed than ours. Is that yes. correct? Um, okay. EK is 64, uh, so we're okay. already up to 78. So, so oh 79. wow, really? Oh, on the hottest core. On though. the hottest core, yes. Oh, also we never machined the bottom, which they yes. clearly did. Yeah. Have you seen what Swift Tech does with their skeeved thing, where basically it like slices into the metal and then folds up a slice? No. It, it's amazing. Can we get one of those machines? Nope. No. Close all the tabs. Done. And we're at 83 degrees. Damn it. <laughs> 84. Actually, it settled back into 81. I wonder if that was just from me like, like pushing on it. I mean, obviously you can't design a product to have the user just like hold it down. Well, but, but we can just tighten these a bit more. Hey, victory, 80 degrees. Yay. We, we beat AliExpress. 
<laughs> for a higher cost. So there are some other factors to consider here too, um, like whether or not our base was made convex oops, yeah. or concave by the uh, mounting pressure of putting the top down on our O-ring. That might be part of the reason why these guys went with this plastic plate. Like we actually don't know why they went with an acrylic oh, mid plate. Oh wow, they didn't even take the freaking <laughs> who leaves like the paper on a finished good that they shipped to the customer. So what was what was this one's result? Or did we not test that one? We didn't test this one. Okay. We just did the EK. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We got our asses kicked by everything. Yeah. But but the really positive takeaway here is that it really is not leaking. So what that means for our future projects is that given that we're not going to be trying to cool a 7820X freaking eight core CPU. Yeah, we're going to be like. We're in good shape. Yeah. We can make water blocks to fit on anything now. They won't be the best water blocks. No, they won't. I really want to do the network switch. Yeah, network, network switch next, and then a challenge. Yeah, because like we only need to beat this. That's yeah, going to be like super easy. Yeah, this sucks. Easy. Look at it. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. OK, I'm feeling good. Yeah. LG's hashtag scale up contest goes along with the launch of the new LG Gram 17 laptop, which we will actually have a full review of coming out soon. And you can win it three different ways. Method one, watch a YouTube video and answer questions by leaving a comment. Method two, watch an Instagram video and answer questions leaving a comment with both the hashtags LG Gram and scale up quiz. And method three, is the trick photo contest for Instagram. Post an image on your Instagram channel that relates to one of the key features of the gram, like its weight, screen size, or battery life. Get all the details by clicking the link below and good luck, everybody. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button, I guess. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. No lie, we're gonna list this block on eBay. It can be yours for the low price of whatever people bid for. I'm just kidding, don't worry, we're not shipping this to anyone. Yeah, that would be a pain. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing that. We'll give them to the cat, though. Uh, also linked in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one. These are actually really nice. Look at, look at the quality of the printing. We're, we're doing a much better job of merch now, so you should definitely check that out. And, uh, oh yeah, our community forum, which you should totally join. This is going to be a royal pain in the ass. Yeah. So did I tell you I want to put it back together first? Because we never actually, like, did a pre-test on the thermals. <laughs>